a video that no one asked for, yet I'm going to make it anyway. Alright guys, so first off, to even unlock the coconut canister, you must kill your coconut crab, and it will unlock this area right here. And then once you go in, you'll see these two items. These are coconut clogs, and this is the canister. Now, you need coconuts, tropical drinks, ex blue and red extracts. A lot of them. First, I'll go over how to get the coconuts quickly. Uh, the first way is using the coconut dispenser. It gives you a couple of coconuts. And sprouts. Sprouts are very good for this area. If you use a sprout here, they will give you coconuts tropical drinks, and, well, other just normal sprout stuff. On to the next item. Now, the next item we're going to be going over, guys, is the red extracts. Now, you can kill red-colored mobs, and they have a chance of dropping a red extract. You need 150 of them. It's 50 strawberries and 10 royal jellies to craft one. I believe the werewolf can also drop a red or blue extract. It's just a chance. It also drops glue, so if you're getting that gummy mask still, um, I have a video on that too. If you want, go check that out. And for the blue extracts, you can kill the bosses. Those drop blue or red extract. Or killing blue mobs such as a rhino beetle. I'm pretty sure any mob except the ladybug can drop a red or blue extract. It's just a chance. Now for the honey, the way I got the honey, you don't have to use this method, but the way I got the honey was... Yeah, that's a golden thing. Anyway, the way I got all of my honey was if you go to the lid art and then use it, it will summon a guiding star in a random field. Now, the guiding star is very important because it gives a 1.5 multiplier on your capacity and the amount of pollen you make. So if you're going to boost, I would recommend using this and then going to that field. Like if you or if you're a blue hive, this would be an incredible opportunity to go to the blue flower field and pop a couple of extracts. Now I get it, you need the extracts for the coconut canister, but also you can just craft them. If you need the blueberries or strawberries, you just go to a red field, get a sprout or two, and that works perfectly fine. Also, I would recommend using the dispensers. They don't give very much, but they still do give some. I use my strawberry dispenser all the time. I couldn't tell you how many it gives, but there's also a blueberry dispenser, if you did not know that already. It gives a uh, blue boost, and it also gives some blueberries. I have 519 now, and if I use, and I get I got 13. That's not horrible. But here, and the last way to get a lot of blueberries or strawberries is the Beesmus Beast. This might sound weird, but when you use it, it will give your bees bond. It will give you bitter berries, like 30 of a random amount of stra sunflower, strawberries, pineapples, blueberries. All of this stuff. Planters also work just fine. I mean, I don't ask why I have a tacky planter in the clover field, but planters will give extracts. They can drop puff shrooms. They can also give strawberries and stuff. Crafting the extracts isn't the most efficient way, but it does work. you guys would like to see a video on petal wand or something like that let me know in the comments below let me know what is your favorite type of smoothie in the comments